Hello, I'm Dr. John Feller. I'm the Chief Medical Officer of Halo Diagnostics. And I'm speaking to patients out there, especially men, about a new type of MRI of the prostate called a multiparametric MRI of the prostate and how that helps us to detect prostate cancer. It turns out this new type of prostate MRI, which takes anatomic images of the prostate, as well as images that are functional type images and physiologic images, help us to detect clinically significant prostate cancers sooner and clinically insignificant prostate cancers less often than the old test that we used to use, which was a random biopsy of the prostate gland done under ultrasound guidance. So in two-thirds of patients who have an elevated serum PSA, which is the screening blood test for prostate cancer, they have an abnormality that we see with this new type of MRI that is suspicious enough to do a biopsy. Now it turns out in the last year or two, there have been several very important studies which are called multi-center clinical trials that have been published in very important journals like the New England Journal of Medicine and Lancet that have shown that this new type of MRI is superior to the old way in which we did the random biopsy of the prostate gland under ultrasound guidance. With the new type of MRI, we find more clinically significant prostate cancers. We find fewer clinically insignificant prostate cancers. And we reduce the number of biopsies that the patient needs to undergo compared to the old transrectal ultrasound guided biopsy, which we now call poke and hope because it was just a random blinded type of a biopsy. So now the prostate gland is finally similar to every other organ in the body where if we're concerned about cancer and we do imaging, instead of doing a random biopsy, instead we do an MRI and we do a targeted biopsy of any suspicious abnormality that we see.